Hey guys, what's going on? Brendan Miller here, back with another video. Today's video is going to be a catch and cook. More specifically, a creek chub catch and cook. Now I, by nature, am a very curious person, and a while ago I was just thinking to myself, I wonder what it would be like to eat creek chubs. And that's what kind of fueled the inspiration for this video. So, today we're going to go catch some creek chubs, take them up to the house, cook them up, and see if they're any good eating. Let's get started. First, we have to find some bait. There's some stinging nettles right here next to me. Fantastic. Ow! Alright, so the first order of business is to find some bait. So we'll have to scrounge around and see if we can find some worms, or a beetle, or something like that. This ground is not the moistest ground in the world. No worms in there. Is there any bugs I can find? A beetle? Or a large ant? Uh, so I made the great mistake of coming down here barefoot, and this is the thanks I get. Nice big thorn. Dan, there's stinging nettles everywhere. This is awesome. Haha! -ha. The quest for the worm is over. Now we can catch some fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah, now they're hitting it. Got him. First creek chub, guys. Ooh. Boom. All right. Hey, chill, bud, chill out. All right, guys, first creek chub here. Not terrible big, but I will take him. We'll have to get a couple more of these guys if we want to have a decent meal. You know, you would think, being September, the weather would start to cool down, but Ohio decides, no, it's time for the weather to warm up, so, you know, now we have, like... Oh! Missed him. And I got my line caught. I broke my line, so that's... that's great. Don't ask me how that happened. Got him. Oh boy, another fish. This one's not very big, but it's another creek chub. So guys, there you go. That is the second creek chub. A little small on the last one, but I will keep him as well. That was a good hit right there. Got him. Got another chubby chub. About the same size as the last one. Not a huge fish. Surprisingly, they are quite fun to catch, though. Alright guys, so here are the fish. I basically just cut their heads off and gutted them. Over here I got a frying pan with some seasoned salt and some butter. And there's my fire. Let's start cooking. Alright guys, the creek chubs are done cooking. Now is the moment of truth. Let's see if they're any good. Not bad. Not bad at all. Wow. That's very surprising. It tastes kind of like a bluegill or a crappie. Very tasty fish. Although there are a lot of tiny little bones in here, but that's surprisingly quite good. You know, I wasn't too sure going into this catch and cook that these creek chubs were going to be any good because they're slimy fish. They kind of stink too. But once you clean them, gut them, and cook them, they're actually quite tasty. Now, Isaiah, you consider yourself uh, somewhat of an expert when it comes to catching creek chubs. You do a lot of creek chub fishing, correct? Yes, I do. Uh, so let's give these things a taste, see how they taste. Uh, Watch out for the bones. Okay. Whoa. 
Mmm, oh my god. That's good stuff, wow. It's basically like eating a uh, crappie. That's Even nice. better. Yeah. So guys, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. It turns out Creek Chubs aren't that bad eating. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe by clicking this little thing right here. And be sure to check out my last video right here. And as always, stay hooked. I'll see you next time.